Hello and welcome back to What Culture Gaming. I am Peter and this is Scott. It is. And this is a, uh, a press kit that uh, has been sent to us. A press kit for what game, Scott? It is Horizon Zero Dawn. Horizon Zero Dawn. Sunny Jim. Wait a minute, Mr. Postman. Look at this bullshit. Look, what, what have you Sorry. done to that? Just minimise the Creased negatives. It. Accentuate yeah. the positives. It's not their fault, it's it's fine. It's lovely and green. We thought we'd take this apart and also just talk about the game in general. Yeah. Because going into the review, it's one of the most anticipated PS4 games of all time. So and uh, you can anticipate that it's going to come out on the 28th of February in NA and the 1st of March in PAL. Earth is ours no more, mate. Earth is ours no more. No. Nope. Um, the, the general premise being that uh, nature has retaken. This is a funny thing because, yeah, what do you know about the game so far? Well, I, I saw the E3 coverage like mm. last year in Ju June, Lai, June, Lai, one of the two summer months. Uh, it's, yeah, July. Eli? Um, Ju Eli? Alloy. Uh, and uh, there seems to be some kind of disaster and um, now trees have grown on everything and there are robot animals for some reason. It's very true. That's gonna be one of the, uh, finding the solution to all that stuff is gonna be one of the big mysteries of the game. Okay. Um, so this <laughs> it's kind of fell out of its housing. So. We've got a loose, a loose, loose CD. Disc, but not to worry. Um, yeah, nice little bit of packaging in that. Yeah. I mean, loads of the, the whole thing with press kits is that, you know, it's a nice little package to way for the, the PR companies to let you know, hey, we've got this thing that we'd like you to review or whatever and in this case, it's very nicely put together. Look at that. That's good. That. It's, it's pretty good. I like it. Yeah. It's all metallic. It's like it's like one of the oh. one of the animals. I don't know if that's maybe that's just getting massive glare from the uh, from the lights, but hopefully you get some kind of idea there. Scott, what have, what's in that thing? <laughs> So, well, they've Do done... Documents. Yeah, this is just a nice little card saying like, hey, we worked on this game for a very long time. Mm -hmm. uh, we wanted to create something fresh and extraordinary. Uh, you know, game set, natural splendor, distant post-post-apocalyptic future. That's a new sort of term. What? Post-post-post-apocalypse. Post, post oh, so there was a post-apocalyptic, like, maybe kind of Fallout style. Yeah, you, you think of like post apocalypse like Mad Max. Yeah, and then hundreds the next or thousands one. of years later, yep. things are green again. Yep, the post-post-apocalypse. We need an actual term for that, though, to be fair. Okay, The post-post-apocalypse is a little, it doesn't exactly roll off the tongue. I like it. It's uh, developed by Gorilla. As in warfare, Lovely not smell. Kong. It's the first um, new IP from Guerrilla Games who, for like, I don't know how long, 16 years have been doing Killzone. But yeah, so they've sent us uh, the PR thing and it's got lots of fancy artwork in. I'd hope that this is sort of duplicated in the uh, collector's edition as well. Oh, nice. Um, because a lot of this stuff seems quite neat. That's cool. We can cut in some nice close-ups because there's no point holding that up to the camera. No, we also have, it's very Loot Crate oh, style. Oh, is it a poster? Yeah, it is. Oh my god, that, that's actually... That's actually insanely wow. cool. <laughs> yeah. Wow. That's... I like that. It's all the, it's all the animals. Or robot... robot moles. Robot uh, moles? Robot moles? That's one of the coolest things though about Horizon, which a lot of people who have followed the game will be pretty psyched about, is just the general art style. The idea that AIs have banded together to repopulate the Earth, replacing animals with robotic versions of themselves. Yeah. I mean, Boy. apparently um, a lot of the plot, like a lot of the plot points to do with like the origin of these things. I mean, it's going to depend on how much they're going to bring it out into multiple sequels and stuff. Right, true. But I'm assuming we're going to get to the bottom of this to some degree mm -hmm. in the in the game itself. So yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm pretty excited. I really love the art style. I think that like, um, you know, the whole like tribal warfare, like Far Cry style primal stuff mixed with, mixed with yeah. like super sci-fi. I think that's where it's that's got awesome. a USP is that it, mm. that weird kind of, it's almost a juxtaposition, but maybe they've made it work. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll, we'll have to see. I think this is, you can say this about any game, but I think in particular the proof of the pudding is going to be in the eating with this game. Like you <laughs> you need to, I don't think we can get a judgment based entirely off just watching the coverage. No. And uh, you're going to have to get your hands on it and mm -hmm. have a go. And we will be doing that. We're going to be doing a review uh, with this disc. That very disc. Very soon. How much do you know about the general storyline? Who are you? Where do you come from? Tell me three interesting facts about yourself. <laughs> um, so you're gonna be playing as this like badass tribal warrior. She, um, you know, descends from this tribe called the Nora tribe. To be honest, my whole thing with this is that I think a lot of people are just going in for the mystery. It's a little bit lost in that thing. It's like, oh, what's actually really going on? So as much as there's been rumors that the whole plot's leaked and like a few of the story trailers have shown like some human enemies behind like controlling the robots oh, okay. and things like that. They've hinted at that stuff. I don't want to know any of that crap. So I've stayed the hell away from the story stuff. So I know you play as Aloy slash Alloy. Mm -hmm. I know that you like do all these other things where you're in this big open world um, and you fight robo dinosaurs. But apart from that, that's pretty much what I'm going in with, which I imagine is the same for quite a lot of people because the whole hook of this thing is what's really going on. Right. So, so in yeah. a way, everything you need to know is 
you maybe want to limit what you what mm. you know when you go in. It's one of those games you don't want to know too much. Oh yeah, I mean, like I said, I'm I'm kind of approaching it in a, in a weird comparison to like Lost, where I'm just sort of like okay. this is a big myth- mythology to get stuck into, potentially a whole franchise. Yeah. So I'm interested to see how much they drip feed with like you know the story related stuff. Okay. So yeah, as much as like I'm interested to see how it goes, I'm glad that they've held back with the vast majority of that stuff. Yeah. So that we can discover it together. But in terms of general gameplay, it looks like it's it's open world. Yeah, it's uh, very Shadow of Mordor the way that it's playing so far. Yeah. Um, lots of bow and arrow kind of action, lots of stealth, lots of hiding in bushes, mm-hmm. tall grass, Assassin's Creed influence kind of Skill stuff. Skill trees and stuff like that. Skill trees, stuff like that. Dynamic boss battles, Far Cry style. Oh, sorry, dynamic boss battles in like just an open world. It's kind yeah. of like The Division. Every now and then you'll come across an enemy that's like super high level. You can try and take them down and get the loot that falls off them. Okay. If not, you can flee, I guess. Yeah. Well, sounds good. Ben, it anything is. to add from, this, from the wings? What do you know about this game that we don't? It's shaping up very nicely, isn't it, Scott? Yeah, I'd say so. I mean, like, so far, the things that they've shown off, like, I mean... <laughs> I don't I don't have a... I could repeat myself. <laughs> we have a lot of things For the first impressions of review, check back next week. It will be next week, won't it? Uh, well, the embargo's on Monday, but that means I've got to play it solid from now till Monday, which is doable. Did do that for Watch Dogs 2. That's what he's going to do. That's his whole week. We'll see. I mean, Neo's pretty good, so... We're Thanks good. very much for uh, watching this, and uh, we'll, we'll see you all very soon. Uh, just intent on... I just... I'm not even... Mm-hmm.